Newt Gingrich. The Trump trial is the most dishonest, corrupt trial of any political figure in American history. By John Grimaldi, Newt Gingrich was the first Republican in 40 years to serve as Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives from 1995 to 1998, a distinction that earned him Time Magazine's coveted Man of the Year award. He's been called an historian and futurist, and his Newt's World is among the top most popular podcasts. This time he joined Rebecca Weber, CEO of the Association of Mature American Citizens, on her Better for America podcast. Newt kicked off his interview noting that what's known as the Franklin Roosevelt Coalition has run the country since 1932. They built huge bureaucracies, huge sets of rules. They've paid off millions of people with taxpayer money and all of a sudden they have an opponent who is very serious about dismantling and replacing their corrupt system. But I think Donald Trump is their most aggressive and competent opponent, so much so that they're terrified of him. From their standpoint, breaking the law, rigging the game, whatever it takes, they're going to try to beat him at every level. In fact, he said, that's what Trump's trial in New York is all about. It's totally dishonest. I actually think that the judge in the New York trial and the students illegally occupying the building in Columbia University are really the same people. They're people who believe in breaking the law to impose their will on the United States and I think that you're seeing a trial, which is probably the most dishonest, most corrupt trial of any political figure in American history. Newt went on to offer a look at what could happen should President Biden win another turn in office. He said, You can start with the universities and the riots and the degree to which we have allowed the growth of left-wing professors and left-wing students who are basically anti-American. It was no accident at Harvard that they tore down the American flag and put up the Palestinian flag. It's no accident that at Columbia they're saying things against America. It's no accident that in Chicago you had an alderman who was leading a group chanting death to America. People like Joe Biden and Barack Obama have encouraged and allowed the rise of an anti-American left, which is very dangerous to the very survival of the country. Meanwhile, look at the number of illegal immigrants pouring across the border. Look at the amount of fentanyl killing young Americans. Last year, twice as many Americans died of drug overdose as died in the entire Vietnam War. Fentanyl clearly is a direct attack by the Chinese to destroy our country. There's more, he said. If you have any doubt about Joe Biden, go to the grocery store and go fill up your gas tank and you'll understand this guy's a failure. He's a failure at levels that affect human beings. And his policies are failures, they're a disaster. In foreign policy, they're a total disaster from the collapse in Afghanistan to the mishandling of Ukraine to the failure to support Israel against terrorism again and again. You see an administration that I think is very dangerous for America. Newt went on to suggest that leftist news organizations and their fake news are also dangerous. He cited the book, The Making of the President 1968 by Theodore H. White. In it, he said, there's an entire chapter on how dishonest and biased the news media has become and how much they all fell in line, repeating the same stories and deliberately attacking conservatives. It began in 1968. It just got steadily worse from there on and today it is an incestuous, totally dishonest system in which if you were to try to stand for conservatism, you'd be driven out of the newsroom almost overnight. That's happened at the New York Times and it's happened at National Public Radio. We've seen senior people who were forced out because they violated the hard line, left-wing anti-American norm that now defines the culture of the newsroom. And the newsroom has become a key part of the establishment. And, he noted, it was a network consisting of the FBI, the CIA, the Democratic Party, the New York Times, the Washington Post, that came together in 2016 to try to destroy Trump, and they've been at it ever since. Please consider joining the Association of Mature American Citizens. Please take a moment and subscribe to this channel.